Hi, this is Carl the Landscape Guy. Today I'm taking all the fish out of the pond. In order to do that, I will use a SANE net sponsored by fishgehege.de. They produce this high quality net exactly to fit my pond. I chose a black mesh 7mm netting. Not only to get the smaller fish, but also to make the process as gentle as possible for the larger koi. In the smaller, knotless mesh, the koi cannot get tangled up. I also like that the continuous pulling rope with the floats is soon into the net. As a result, there's always a part of the net above the water surface and the fish can't jump over it so easily. The soon in bottom chain ensures even contact with the ground and does not get caught in branches or stones at the bottom of the pond. This net is 15 by 2 meters, which is 49 by 6.5 feet. It is a little bigger than my pond so that the fit is not too tight. Before the fishing can begin, some preparations are still necessary. The fished out koi will be put on foldable tanks outside the pond. To protect the tanks from overheating, I provide shade with a portable pavilion. Next, I set up the two folding tanks. I'd like to thank the Aquaforta company for providing these tanks. They are available in different sizes. These have a diameter of 1.8 meters, so about 6 feet, and a capacity of 1,500 liters, so almost 400 gallons. The included rods stabilize the edges and it can be put up by one person pretty quickly. Once you have set up the rim, add some water to straighten out the wrinkles easily. The already integrated zipper mesh covers keep the fish from jumping out. I want to aerate the tanks well and put in aeration hoses. The Aquaforte aeration ring includes stainless steel weights and is connected to the airline with a T-piece. This AP150 aerator pump is designed for the pond and is only being used temporarily for these two tanks. This aeration system is available in different sizes. This ring has a diameter of 75 centimeters, so about two and a half feet. I set up the air pump above the water level and connect it. Wow, that's a good amount of air. That will definitely be enough. Okay, the tanks are filled, aeration is running, the water temperature is good, and the basin and koi net sock are set up. So let's get started. I begin at the back end of the pond, slowly pulling the net along the shore. Meanwhile, my helper slowly guides the net into the water. I let the net as close as possible along the bank. In doing so, I make sure that the upper and lower rope are pulled evenly. No fish should escape the net at the side. Due to the bank vegetation and bird protection net, a different procedure isn't possible. Now that I'm on the other side, the whole net is in the water. My helper now starts to slowly pull the net along the bank on the other side. So far it works very well. But now we come to this reed tuft. If you do this procedure in autumn, you can cut back the vegetation beforehand. I try to scare all the fish out of the reeds and then quickly lift the net over the tuft. Then we continue on slowly and try to stay parallel across from each other. Especially when the middle of the pond is deep, you have to move very slowly, otherwise the net will stretch too much and the chain could lift up from the bottom. 
Next, there are water lilies in the way. I just pull the net over them slowly and that works very well. So far, no plants have become entangled in the net. Now we get to the widest area of the pond and the net is just long enough. It makes sense to order the net a bit longer than the widest part of the pond. Now I lead the net along the banks forming a net circle. Prior to starting this process I decided where I wanted to get the fish out of the net. Make sure it is easy to get to. I'm not pulling the net too tight so that the fish don't panic. There should now be at least a hundred fish in the net. In order to get to the fish easily, the net is now slowly pulled out of the water. But due to the slope of the banks, I have to make sure that the chain remains on the ground. That way the net is getting pulled closer and closer. Now I pull the chain out onto the bank so that the net forms a big pocket, preventing the fish from escaping. Now it's time to get the fish out of the net with the net sock. If you go slow here again it works very well. The koi net sock protects the scales and skin of the fish. I put them into the large basin to transport them to the tanks. There they are put into the foldable tanks by hand. Now here comes the big koi mama. She usually stays pretty relaxed. I also caught 70 small tench, 
a tinge of 44 centimeters and a gold ore of 47 centimeters. And altogether, there are 82 koi. I'm very happy with the result. The fishing with the same net from fishgehege.de worked great. This high quality net really does the job. It is easy to pull through the pond, even through rough terrain. I know that the pond bottom has some holes and bumps here and there where the net can't get into. Therefore, about five koi have escaped the net. But that doesn't matter because the tanks are full of nice koi. Some koi are put back into the pond and some are sold. I'm already looking forward to selecting them in the next video and I hope you will join me again. The fish will only stay in these tanks for about 24 hours. The aquaforte tanks have remained absolutely waterproof, the edge is more stable than I thought and the top net coverage is really practical. Please take a look at the product links used in this video. Fischgehege company has given out an exclusive discount code for my subscribers and viewers. Thanks a lot for that. The discount code is in the video description so if you need high quality netting make sure you check out their products. Now I hope you liked this video, I'm always happy to receive a thumb up and a subscription from you. Take care and see you next time. I'm Carl the Landscape Guy. Please subscribe to Carl the Landscape Guy. This will really help me out of here. There's spiders on the net.